peeps, welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some uh, steering stuff. Still haven't got the front wheels on, I've got the back wheels on. Uh, it turns out for the suspension, the shock absorber there, at the bottom there's two screws that you've got to do up, not one. So I made the mistake of only doing one. So today we're going to be putting in the steering rack and uh, we're going to be putting in um, the clutch and the um, brake master cylinders up there and uh, we'll see how much time we have left after that all right so let's get this show on the road all right so here is the steering rack no steering column sorry my bad so what we'll do is we'll get it around the right way and somewhat anyway we'll see where we go oh hang on it went up and it wanted to give us a tick and the silly thing went up there we go all right now for the steering the bolts are on the firewall here if we can get in there uh, they're here. They're not on the firewall, you goon. They're on the actual uh, the join there. I'm not sure what they call that. Just a knuckle, steering knuckle maybe. Uh, I certainly don't know what size it is. And we have to take all our tools down there and bibble bobble backwards and forwards. number two stuff our face through there and there we go look at that that was luck all right now I know for a fact this one has two on there go backwards go forwards all right where is it there it is and then have a look on this side Okay, that's the one we just did up. So it's on the top, right there. Oh, nearly. It's always good to go back one, then forwards, just in case. To keep on going forwards, just in case you haven't got it. It's not worth the headache and hassle of trying to figure that out. Next time we come around to this stuff and the car's going, but it's not driving. That's rather annoying. Uh, we'll put on the front bits and that. We'll put on the two other things that we're talking about. And then, uh, where are they? Here's the engine bits in all their glory. Just laying around there. Uh, oh, there's one. Clutch master cylinder. That's here. very easy these things to push in compared to the cable where you've got to push the cable and uh, very good fun don't get me wrong like that's what I had when I was a kid but everything these days is automatic and I don't like automatics not in the slightest very lazy very lazy cars don't like them much I mean don't say that they're not saying that they're for everybody. Uh, manual for me all the way, but not my cup of tea for autos. I like to know I'm doing stuff, especially driving long trips. Yeah. Not that you're changing gears all the time, but it's, it's much slightly easier than uh, just sitting there like a turkey. Alright, so we got that one on, which is a clutch, uh, a clutch master cylinder. Now this one up here is the brake master cylinder. Basically, that just holds all the fluids that um, it normally cars have a booster on it as well. It's only it's basically just it's an assistant. Uh, it helps you 
push the brake on because the amount of pressure that it takes to push in one of these pedals without a booster on there, I don't think many people could do, unless you're a gym junkie or something. But you couldn't do it consistently, it's just way too much pound on the foot. So they put in a, a booster that, that helps you and helps you stop and stuff like that. So uh, when we've got all the rest of the line in, we uh, just take the lid off here. That lid comes off there and there. And uh, then we just uh, fill it up full of fluid. But we've got to do it up inside here now. And I don't think this one's the right spin to do it. No. Let's try that one. One. Nope. Uh, we're running out of options here. Really? What the freak's going on here again? Hitbox size. Friggin' match head. And of course, when you get in the car, you go up a stage, so it does you no good with your reach in. And you can't do anything when you're in the car anyway, so no fun. Wonder if we can do that. No. I've seen people stick their head through the through here. Oh look at that. That works. Uh, wrong one. Try that one. Wrong one. Try that one. <laughs> I feel as though we're going backwards now. Make sure this is done up. Back one or two, forward two, keep on going. Just to make sure, like I said, it'd be a pain in the butt having to go around and do all of this again. And yeah, that that should be it. We just gotta get our steering wheel. If we can find it. Uh, here it is. That one clutch lining you can't do that one just yet you need to be able to get under the car I think we can try but I think there's two bolts underneath the car that need to be done up so I have to wait till we can push that inside or something so we'll stick the we'll stick oh, go down we'll see if we can get this on the hitbox size of a match head. Nearly, nearly. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Whew, that was hard. Uh, no. Go down. feeling I'm going the wrong way with this one. Then you stand up. I don't want to stand up. We'll stay back down here. this gets annoying after a while I've been through just about everyone and of course I'm hitting the wrong one I'm getting the right one just not hitting the nut right but oh my god gosh bigger hitbox No. 
get this one. No, I'm going to stand up again because we need to, because our tools are on a shelf. <gasps> I think I've got it. Yay, look at that. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so steering wheel's in. Let's see, for curiosity's sake. Let's see. No, won't let us. No, it won't let us. We'll quickly put the seat in and see if it'll let us sit down then. Passenger driver. And I have a feeling this is going to be a pain in the bum as well because there's bolts underneath. We'll see. Turning. Look, turning, turning. Look, accelerator, clutch, brake and clutch, brake and clutch. Woohoo! Do, 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 do. Well, at least we know we did that right. Alrighty, guys, we're going to wrap it up here, and next time we will, uh, we might bolt, I'll, I'll bolt the seat in when uh, off cam. Um, that's pretty easy. There's just four bolts, I think. Four bolts. There, there, front and back, two each side. And uh, when we come back, we might uh, stick the front. Uh, what bits can we stick on next? We might stick on the front bumper bars. The uh, they call them? yeah, bumper, front bumper, and the rear bumper. And we might go for the uh, front quarter panels. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go for the front quarter panels. Um, they, they call them fenders in Australia. We call them quarter panels. Just, just so you know. So we'll stick on that. And we'll work our way backwards then. I think we'll go, we'll go uh, quarter panels or fenders. Front. Then we'll go doors and seats, and then seat, and then boot, then lights. Yeah, because we've got these lights in already. So, uh, yeah, and that, by the time happens, it should be pretty much all good to go. And we can just push him in here and hope for the best. Alrighty, guys, uh, thanks for your patience and your attention span. And... If you get this, far, if you got this far through it, well done. Leave a comment. As always, share, share, share. Any tips or tricks, leave a, leave a comment below. Like always. And if not, keep on keeping it real. Later.